Hey guys, it's Bunny. I just wanted to pop in. I got tagged by Sarah with an H. She started a new tag. It's called the um, Sickness Tag. Basically, they picked a bunch of diseases and you pick the books that match the same symptoms. So this was actually pretty fun. And I just pulled a crap load of books off my bookcase. Oh my gosh. The first disease they listed was diabetes. And this is books that spiked your blood sugar. So... <laughs> I looked through my shelves. I don't really read like romance and that type of book. I could not find anything that I considered that was like sweet. So I either I've not read anything that was shockingly sweet or it's skipping my mind right now because I couldn't find anything for diabetes. Chicken pox. The one book that you got that one time and you will never get it again. For me, that was easy. I didn't even have to think about it. I chose Wither. Beautiful cover. Not 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 good for me. So I did read it one time. I will never read it again. And hopefully I I don't plan on picking up any of the spin-off series, just like I don't plan on pick, picking up the shingles. You know what I'm saying? So for chicken pox, I chose Wither. Influenza, the book that just keeps on giving you spread it to everybody. This was also easy for me. I chose the River of Time series by Lisa Berggren. I got this book for review, and I am pretty much made everybody I know read it. Waterfall, it was a little bit slow getting going. I mean, it took probably about 60 or 70 pages for the story to take off, but once it took off, it was amazeballs. So this is the series that is the influenza for me. If you've not read it, pick it up. There's romance, time travel, sword fights, big epic battles, everything is in this series. Girls and guys both could read this series and it's excellent. Excellent. <laughs> the Cycle, which we ladies, we understand that. That would be the books that we reread often. For me, this was the easy, um, it's the Lord of the Rings books, The Hobbit and The Fellowship of the Ring. So you have The Fellowship of the Ring. The Lord of the Ring trilogy, The Hobbit. I read these a lot. I would say probably not every year, but like every other year. I'm actually planning on reading them all again in November because The Hobbit movie is coming out in December. So I will be reading these again before the movie hits the theaters. So excellent. If you have not picked these up, grab them. Insomnia, a book you read that kept you up all night. <laughs> I've read a lot of books that I read have stayed at reading simply because I have a problem with sleeping a lot of times and I'll go to bed reading and not want to get up just because I'm not asleep. So I'll just lay there and read and then it's time to get up and I'll get up. But this one is the one I wanted to show you guys. This is my most recent all-nighter. It's Curses and Effed Up Fairy Tale. This is the funniest. If they don't make this into like a movie, I will be so upset. It is so funny. I laughed out loud and then... I would have to quit read, you know, I'd quit reading and listen to see if I had woke anybody up. Cause this was just hilarious. I read it in like a day and a half. So it's really funny. If you haven't picked this up yet, pick it up. I think, I don't know if I put the review for this one up yet or not. It might be on my website. You'll just have to check. Amnesia, the book that you've read and already forgotten. And that was Bitter Frost. I don't remember what it was about other than it had fairies in it. And I don't remember anything about it. I remember rolling my eyes and it was very hard to finish it even though it's a tiny book. So this book was not for me. And I, Kaylin Gow, I guess, is the author. I've not bothered to pick anything else up by them. You turned me off once. I'm not going to try you twice. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. This was not Asthma, the book that took your breath away. For me, that was Filtered by Gwen Wright. I read this book, oh, like, in a day and a half. And when I finished, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. And I come running upstairs, and I went in my husband's office. And I was, I was fake smoking. It was so good. And I was like, oh, my God. This book was so good. And I had to tell him about it. And then when I got to tell him about it, I had to fake smoke. Because it was, it was really good. So if you haven't read Filter, pick it up. She does do, um, it is available in paperback or ebook. I think the ebook's only like $2.99 or something. So go get it. It's excellent. It does um, flip perspective and jump back and forth, you know. But the story is so good. It's, it's so good. Pick it up. Excellent, excellent. The Malnutrition Book. The book that shall not be named. And I will put its cover here. 
No, I'm kidding. Malnutrition, the book that left you wanting more for me. There was just not enough food for thought in this one. Not for me. I'm sorry, guys. Don't hate. We're all allowed our own opinion. Travel sickness, the book that took you to another place or another time that you love. For me, I looked there. Actually, like the River of Time series would fit this. Spiderwick would fit this. 13 Secrets, 13 Curses, 13 uh, Treasures would fit this. I didn't know what I wanted to put. And so, I basically, I ended up with the Ink Heart series. I love these books. If you've not read these, I think they're considered middle grade. They're kind of fat, but the font's a pretty decent size, so they don't take very long to read. So, if you haven't read the Ink Heart series, I think you should pick it up. That's it. That's the tag. So, thank you for tagging me. And let's see, who do I want to tag? I want to tag everybody. So, I want you all to do the tag. But because I know they're both teetering on starting their own channels, I'm going to tag Lainey, whose channel is Reddit, uh, Reddit Reviewed It. I'm going to tag Casey Hilton, who his channel is Casey Hilton, I think. I'm going to tag. Lindsay at the book vlogger because she never does tags. I do know that she's moving right now, so I I understand if it takes a few days to do the video. However, I would like to see it. I'm tagging all of my Twitter girls. So, M Book Rat Misty, Jennifer, which is Pebbles730. I got it right that time. She's reading with Pugs on Twitter and then reading with Makeup, which her channel is... I want to say the reading nook or something like that. So these are the people that I tag specifically, but I want you to do the tag. Make sure you link up to Sarah with an H's um, original tag video. All the links that you need to do this tag are down below. All the info is down below. Do the tag because it's fun. You will pull a lot of books off your bookcase though, so because I pulled up a lot. Anyway, um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. See ya.